They're playing good ball. Uh, playing good ball, trying to make a run for, uh, I think, the seeding, getting good seeding in the playoffs. For so we were playing good ball. So, um, you know, it's going to be two really good teams going at it. How much do you relish these kind of games going, yeah, two of the top teams in the East? Um, these are good games for us. They're a good challenge, good test for us, um, especially coming down the stretch. A lot of teams are uh, sort of letting their guard down going into the All-Star break. Um, but we're not one of those teams, so um, we're taking this one serious. Do you see Philly as a rival? Um, I see them as a really good team. Um, you know, I, I think we're I think we're the best team in the, in the NBA. Um, when we're on our on our A game, I don't think anybody can play with us. The trade deadline's obviously tomorrow. What's I know like these aren't your calls, but do you feel like this team is kind of just good to go as is? It's unusual teams, the best record in the NBA. Everyone's like, oh, make changes. Or do you feel like, hey, maybe if there's a place we can upgrade, it'd be good to even take that next step? That you know, I'm I'm one of the players, man. I'm I'm not in the front office. Um, we leave that to to Brad Stevens. He's one of the best in the business. Um, so we, we trust him in, in making moves or not making moves. What's this week been like you in the past? And how have you kind of throughout your career learned to handle this week when you see rumors or whatever it might be? Um, you know, it's easier said than done, you know, just ignoring it and, and not listening to anything or not paying attention. Of course, you're watching. You want to see which teams are making upgrades, which teams are uh, deciding to go in the other direction. Um, but for the most part, you are focusing on yourself, focusing on your team. Um, and how you guys can get better each day. In your position now, do you talk guys through it? Do you kind of just keep your head down? What's kind of your approach to this week this year? No, I mean, I, this is a pretty mature team. Uh, this team has one goal in mind. Um, there really is a need for, there's not a need, you know, right now this year for anybody to be, uh, you know, trying to gather the guys and let's stay focused. This team is focused. This team's ready. Um, we're, we're focused on this next game. Did you watch LeBron? I did. I did. Uh, monumental moment uh, for one of the greats. Um, a lot of respect to him, what he's done over his career, his longevity. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's remarkable, really. How incredible of a feat is that? And what are some of your memories of uh, playing against him? Uh, an incredible feat. Um, you know, one of my memories is dunking on him uh, <laughs> my, my rookie year. Um, and, you know, that sticks out in my mind because it's LeBron. It, it's everything he's accomplished. Um, what a what a great player um, and everything he stood for even off the court uh, especially for the black community trying to make this world a better place um, so you know he's a guy of the utmost respect for him. You guys have talked about his longevity being the most impressive thing. How long do you kind of picture yourself? Like, do you kind of shoot for it? Like as long as I can play I'm going to possibly do it. Uh, man I don't know. Um, you know it's, it's going to be up to my family. I, I want to spend time with my family um, more than anything so uh, you know, it probably won't be a 20-year career. I, I don't think my body will, will give me 20 years, but, um, you know, I'm, I want to play this game for as long as I'm productive. What was the situation when you dunked on him? What was, like, the play? I Man, I, I, uh, it was actually a broken play. Um, I meant to hand the ball off to Jabari Parker. He didn't take it. He ran past me. I thought he was going to take it. I, I picked it up and then just tried to make a play, drove quickly to the basket. And I think I surprised LeBron. If he had known it, he probably wouldn't have let me dunk it. Um, but I think I surprised him. I was a rookie. I'm not, I wasn't known for jumping um, and went up and snuck one on him. Back to Philly real quick. With your guys' switch happy defense, how, I know you do but how does that change when you're facing James Harden? Uh, some of the uh, – James Harden's one of the highest IQs in the NBA. So um, he's seen every defense. He's, he's been the guy on his team in Houston and, and multiple teams. Um, they're two great players, man, and they got a lot of good role players like us. So um, it's a smart team, well coached. They're gonna, you know, have an answer for our switching, but it's gonna be up to us to be, you know, physical, be dialed in on, on personnel, um, and follow the game plan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.